Lender. All right, Jason, you got to leave the room for this one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about fear of lender. So buyers have a fear of talking to a lender. So what are some ways we can overcome that? How do we solve that problem? Set up a warm meeting together with all three of them. But what if they say, I don't want to talk to a lender yet? I think it's a motivation problem. Okay. Mm. I, talk about, I mean, you got to dig into, like, do you really want to buy? Are you interested in doing this? Or are you just kind of curious about what homes are going for? Like, you might have someone who's a buyer six months from now, not now, yeah. if they don't want to meet them. I think, too, it's also maybe a fear of rejection, right? Like, just like everyone is. They're afraid, they're afraid of being told they can't afford the home that they want. Or they are afraid of saying they're not approved. You know what I mean? Like, and or it may just be it's it comes across as more serious than the, what they're wanting to do, right? So if they're wanting to buy in two months or three months, or even say six months from now, but that price, if they talk to the lender, they feel like they have to buy tomorrow, right? Like, I think sometimes the other mentality. Never anything that we have to do in life where we have to get pre-approved before we go shop for it. Even when I go shop for a car, I don't have to get pre-approved first before I go look at cars, right? I, I'm used to, you know, we've all, by the time we buy a house, we've probably bought in a handful of cars in our lifetime. And we're used to, I mean, used to work at a car dealership, right? If I wanna buy a car, I walk in, I go look at the car first, and then we sit down and talk about the financing. So part of it is just the way that people have been trained too. What's that? I, my last two cars, I never even went to a dealership. <laughs> Um, but that's part of the problem is that that's the way that people are accustomed. The biggest purchase they've made in their life to date is a car. And when they bought a car, they didn't have to get pre-approved first. They even got to go take a test drive of the car before even talking about the financing. So part of it is just an education thing. We've just got to educate them on how the process works when it comes to buying a home. And the, some of the big things that I like to point out is just helping them when I sit down for a buyer consultation, help them understand that when they submit an offer on a property, Part of the requirement along with that offer is going to be that we submit a pre-approval letter with it. And if we submit a pre-approval letter without, or we submit an offer without a pre-approval letter, a seller is not going to consider that offer. And so what I'll tell uh, buyers a lot of times say, hey, I totally understand you want to go out and look at homes first. I get it, right? It's super exciting to go buy a home. But what I would hate to have happen is for us to go out and look at homes and we find you the home of your dreams, then we go and talk to the lender. Well, once you talk to the lender, it takes time to get a pre-approval letter. Sometimes it could take a day or two, or if you've got a complicated situation, it could take a week or two to get that pre-approval letter. Well, if we go find the perfect home, and it's an amazing home and a great deal, would you agree there's probably going to be other people that think the same thing? Yeah. Well, we don't want to be in a situation where those other people have all their ducks in a row, and we're over here spending days, if not weeks, trying to get our pre-approval letter together. And by the time we get it all put together, somebody who already had their ducks in a row is already an escrow on that property. I would hate to have that happen for you. I don't want you to miss out on your dream home. That's why I want to make sure we have our ducks in a row so that when we do find that perfect home, we can put an offer in immediately. Can you go back so to you can use some of that fear of loss. <laughs> no, I don't like to drive. <laughs> he does such a good job. I don't like to drive. Um, but use fear of loss. Fear of loss is way more powerful than um, fear of gain. So when you could tell them, like, I would hate to have you lose out on a property because we don't have our ducks in a row. I would hate to see somebody else get your dream home because we don't have everything put together. That's super, super powerful. When they start to see this vision of finding their dream home and getting excited about it and having it ripped out of their hands because they didn't have their shit together, that's huge. That works really, really well. I like, I like to use the, the car analogy also, where I'll, I'll start by saying, so do you intend on paying cash or did you intend on using a loan to buy the home? And they're like, oh, I don't. I don't have much cash, I'm gonna need a loan. But okay, great. Now, do you know the difference between getting like a home loan versus like an auto loan? Well, no, they're probably the same thing. <laughs> well, they're similar because they're a loan and you're gonna pay monthly on it. But the difference is a car loan you get when you're buying the car. A home loan, you work with your lender for a period of time before you actually use your loan because you can restructure it, you can increase your, uh, your probability of getting a better interest rate, you can adjust the loan itself while you're going through that pre-approval process. And they're like, oh. And then I'll, I, I don't do the lose a home thing, but what I'll do, well, no, I do similar. I'll say, have you ever known anybody that was in escrow and then fell out of escrow? It's, it's demoralizing. 
people like really get turned off in the whole home buying process because they're three weeks into almost having their home and all of a sudden something went wrong with the loan, they lose the house they thought they were gonna buy. I'm not gonna let that happen to you. So I'm gonna get you in contact with my lender. We're gonna get the ball rolling. And I know you said you weren't looking to purchase something for another four or five months, but that's perfect because we're gonna be able to spend this next three to four months getting this loan just ironclad so when we do find the right home, you're going to knock it out of the park. Does that make sense? You go from there. Yeah, one more thing is you got to build value around meeting with the lender. You don't want it to feel like it's an obligation. You want them to be excited about it. So the other thing that I say all the time is, you know, I'd love to have you connect with my lender so that they can review all of the loan options that are available to you to make sure we find the best option. And what's great is some of those options involve our lender paying thousands of dollars of closing costs for you. People love that shit. Like, oh, you're going to pay money to me? So like options, people like to have options. They feel good about that. Um, and then when there's an opportunity to potentially get free money, people love that shit. So like make it so it's an exciting thing for them. It's not something they have to do. Nobody wants to like be pushed to do something they have to do. But if they see value and like, and again, I don't work with a lot of buyers anymore, but when I used to work with a lot of buyers, Jason would be at every single consultation with me and we would get them excited and they'd walk out of there pumped up because now I know exactly what they're looking for. We know exactly what their price point should be and they're pumped and we're going out and we're looking at homes right away. So make it something that's a benefit to them, not of obligation to them. And you'll see the mindset shift a lot on that. Do they ever get weirded out when you bring the lender with you on the first meet? Uh, no, I tell them up front. And again, I build the value exactly what I just told you. I wanna have my lender there so we can review your loan options so to figure out so which option is best for you. Yeah.